I wanted to share some ponderings on the idea of evil, the idea of complete evil. The devil is the symbol of evil in Christianity, and the idea of many seems to be that he is completely evil, that everything he does and thinks and wants is inherently evil. I understand the power of a symbol, but if you stop to think about it, I don't think it really makes sense for any actual entity to purely be evil. The devil, the personification of evil, is in hell the place of ultimate evil, punishing evil people who did evil in their lives. If they're being punished, is that not a good thing? Isn't that the idea of jail, of most punishments? I mean, there's rehabilitation, and then there's just plain punishment. Does he enjoy causing this pain? Enjoyment is a bit of a good thing, so maybe not, but let's assume that he does enjoy it. Does that not mean that anyone who enjoys someone else, even if they supposedly deserve it, is tortured or in pain at least? Would that not make the person who is getting some sort of enjoyment out of this other person's pain evil? And there's the extreme, there's the executioner or the torturer, but then there are minor things. Have you ever snickered when someone you didn't like had something bad happen to them or a similar situation? By that idea, that would make you partially evil. But let's assume that he doesn't enjoy it. Wouldn't that make him good? If he doesn't enjoy doing something that is evil, if he isn't doing it out of his own volition, would that not make him good, a victim of circumstance perhaps? Just my thoughts.